Today we're going to do a super quick video on how to stamp with acrylic stamps. What you need to be prepped is a stamp of some sort. These are the deep three acrylic stamps that I have. You need ink of some kind. I like the Speedball screen printing ink mostly because I know how to heat set it and if it does or does not need heat setting you're going to have to read the instructions on your own ink to find out what that needs. You need some way to apply it. You can use something like the sponge brayers like this or I think this is actually for a alcohol inks. It's a little bit of a dauber which is my preferred method. You need something squishy. It can be as simple as a stack of paper towels like this or my preferred method a stack of polar fleece like this and fabric. You probably want a tighter weave versus a looser weave because it'll let the color transfer better but whatever fabric you're planning on stamping. Before doing a complicated pattern, test your stamp. This is probably a little more important for me since I'm making these stamps um, and by the time I send them to you I've already tested them and I know that they produce the image that you want. But in case you're making your own stamps by hand cutting or if you aren't used to stamping, do a couple practice pieces, use scrap fabric and see what you can do. So again, I've got about four layers of polar fleece because it's my preferred way. Um, I poured out a little bit of the screen printing ink here and I've got my dauber and my stamp. So. What I'm going to do, as you can see I've used this board a lot, is I just want this, I need to get the ink on the dauber, and then I'm going to get it on the stamp. Now again, the ink dries, but you have a window of time, and really you want the ink thick, because it's going to fill in all of the weave of your fabric and get you a more solid print the more ink you have on there. So it should look overloaded. If you're using a roller tool, the same thing. You sort of want peaks. Now this is why we have squish, because you're going to push and you're going to rock it. Give it a light, nice amount of pressure. Some people stand on them or hit them with the mallet. I don't recommend it with the acrylic. I'd be afraid of it breaking. And then you're going to want to pull straight up. There are my griffins. This is a two-part stamp, so I could do two colors. So as you see, I've got the sword separate. I'm going to ink that up. I'm going to spot check it. And I'm going to push it in there. And again, rock it a little bit. Pull straight up. There we go. We've got a test print.